Hey all, Brendan here, AKA Cliff Jumper. Welcome back to my little corner of the nerd universe. And today we are doing another departure from my normal car stuff and going into my nerd stuff. So if you're here for the car stuff, tune in again, or maybe just keep watching because you never know, you might be strangely entertained. But today, today we are going to be doing a very simple modification to an off the shelf rubber prop. Tune in and we will continue with that. All right, so if you're just watching for the first time, I am a member of the 501st. I've been part of the organization since early 2000s. I've got a few costumes, and one of them is a TIE Pilot Reserve. And uh, an optional extra for the TIE Pilot costume is to have a blaster. Well, I was at a uh, convention, Comic-Con, and I picked up this rubber blaster, which is really cool, but it has one problem. This orange tip is molded into it, and that would make it unapprovable for 501st standards. And some of you go, well, why do I even care? You probably don't, but I want to take what is already a pretty good looking prop replica, and it's super lightweight, and I'm not worried about dropping it and breaking it, which is why rubber, foam rubber is awesome for prop guns. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and remove this molded in orange annoying part and make it more actual blaster-ish and approvable. So we're gonna use some simple tools. I've got a grinder. So we're gonna do most of the work with this and then we're just gonna take a drill and maybe a Dremel to clear out the rest of the end cap here. And that should be it, so let's see. Of course, making sure you have eye protection anytime you're dealing with spinning cutting objects like Dremel tools or grinders like this. Okay, that gets us most of the way there. Obviously, there's still a little bit of the orange stuff left. I wanted to leave enough room that I could shave it down evenly here on the front once I got the majority of that cut off. So that's success, but we're already at the profile where it needs to be. So I'll just do a quick shave, get rid of the rest of this little lip here, and then we will start by drilling in and maybe dremeling out, maybe use a sanding wheel to give us an actual barrel. And I've got a couple ideas for what we can do with that too. So um, yeah, let's check it out. Now, I am not worried about the end of this being perfectly smooth because we're gonna drill out that and hollow it so it actually gets a barrel shape. So, um, but the rest of this, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. There's still just a little bit of a lip, which if I'm being honest, I think my GML for my local garrison might give me an issue with. So I'm gonna do a, just a little bit more shaving, get rid of that lip that's around there. And that should get us to the place where this is just smooth out cone. All right, we've gotten rid of the lip, so that's way, way better there, which should be good. And now we'll proceed to try to hollow that out. And let's start with a drill, pilot it down the middle, just hollow it out a little bit. And I have some ideas of some inserts we can put in there to give it a good smooth barrel, so not relying on the Dremel making it perfectly, perfectly hollow. And 
And here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking for the barrel insert. This is a, uh, a fluid transfer pump from Harbor Freight Tools. It died, but I'm thinking I could cut off this part here with the, the Dremel and use it as a barrel insert because it'll give us a nice perfectly round barrel, a little bit of a lip inside there. I think that'll work pretty well. Yeah, that definitely did a much cleaner job of cutting into it. So I only have to clear out just a little bit more to do our barrel insert. That's going to kind of be what's in there. I think that'll work. Yeah. And I may, I may actually just come to think of it. I may just hollow out a tiny little bit and leave a very thick rubber uh, circumference so that it's got some structure because it is very light rubber it's squeezable i don't want it to break while i'm cosplaying so maybe instead i'm just going to do a little bit more shaving with the dremel and skip the barrel insert because that's smooth enough and i'll just do a little bit of painting and and make it look good hit that with a little bit of paint I think that might be passable without having to do the insert let's see et voila so it's not perfect but it's way better than the orange molded in tip that was there before but it has the right profile now we've got the illusion of a blaster you know tip barrel and uh, this will this will do so for trooping and like a five minute modification Mischief managed. Of course, the real proof will be when I submit it for approval to my local GML. So we'll see what he thinks of my modification, but I think it's probably going to do all right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe, share if that helped you out at all, or just gave you some inspiring ideas to modify what is essentially an off the shelf toy and make it into uh, a prop that can go with your cosplay. So see ya. Bye.